Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to jumpstart your car if you have a dead battery. So behind me, I've got two vehicles, and I'm gonna be using both of these to demonstrate how you would jumpstart a vehicle should your battery die on you. So I'm gonna be using this car to the left of me, I'm gonna be using this as the car that's functioning, and I'm gonna be using this car to the right of me as the car that's got a dead battery. So I'm gonna show you today four different ways on how you can get that car going again. So say that you left your interior lights on at nighttime and you came back to your car the next morning. You try to turn on your vehicle and it won't turn over. Well, what do you do? Well, in that situation, your battery isn't gonna have enough power to turn the engine over and you're gonna have to make it so that the engine turns over so that you can get the car going. So if you're at home, you most likely would have access to an outlet and that's where a jump starter or a battery charger like this is gonna come in very handy. So you can grab the outlet that's connected to the jump starter and just plug it into the wall. And then making sure that this part here is set to off, we can then go ahead and attach the jumper cable end up to the car. So you would grab the positive end of the starter and hook it up to the positive end of the battery, which is right here. So all that you would do is you squeeze it like this and make sure that you get a good connection right there. After that, you would grab the negative end right here or the ground and you would either attach it to the negative post on the battery or if you don't have that access or visible you would just attach it to any kind of ground that you'd have on the car so right here I'm just attaching it to an engine mount and this is gonna work a hundred percent now if you wanted to go ahead and turn the car on and get it started right there what you would do is you would grab this dial and turn it onto high or start so you would turn this over like this and then the car is gonna be good to go. So at this point, you can get your key, go in the car, and then crank the car and turn it over. And if everything goes well, if you set it up properly, the car should turn on. Now, if you wanna say just get the battery charged up a little bit before you go, instead of setting it to 12 volt high, you can set it to medium or even low. Now what this is gonna do, this is gonna trickle charge the battery, and it's just gonna give the voltage a little bit higher of a boost when you get going. So a dead battery is gonna be around 12.2 volts, and if you let it sit at low or medium, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring it up a little bit closer to say 12.4, 12.6, and when it gets fully charged, it's gonna go up to 12.8 volts. So that right there is method number one on how to get your car going. Option two is very similar to this, but instead of this being mounted up to the wall and then to the car, what we're gonna have is a set of jumper cables that's gonna connect one car with another one. So if this is the car that isn't working and we want to jump start it, what we'll do is we'll first start off by attaching the jumper cables to this vehicle. So the way that we would start off with this is we would have car number one, the one that's working, we would turn this on and get the alternator spinning to charge this battery so that when we hook up the jumper cables right here from this car to the other one, this car won't die on us. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to lift up this piece right here and we're gonna attach the positive end right here, onto there, onto that jumper cable. And we're gonna leave the negative just sitting aside, not touching anything, because we're gonna grab the other end of the jumper cables, and we're gonna attach the positive, the other one, onto the other car. So as I said, you would grab the other end, so the other positive end, and you're gonna attach this onto here. So with that connected, we're gonna leave the negative unattached to anything, and we're gonna go back to car number one. So back at car number one, we're gonna grab the negative end right here of the jumper cables and we're gonna attach it to the negative post on the battery. Okay, so we're just gonna attach it like that. So if we come back to car number two, we're gonna grab the negative terminal, put it on any ground, so right here. And because car number one is running, it's gonna be supplying power to this battery because the alternator is running and it's charging this up. So the game plan now is to get your key, jump in car number two that isn't working, turn it on, and the engine should turn over. And that there is option two, and we're gonna be able to jumpstart the car using jumper cables. Now, method number three is slightly different than the first two, and it doesn't require cables by any means. So option three is bump starting the car. So what that is, is we're gonna be on an incline, and we're gonna be getting the car rolling, and then we're gonna let go of the clutch with the car in gear, with the key in the on position, and it's gonna force the engine to turn over. Now, it's a little bit aggressive if you do it in first gear, but if you put it in second gear and start off like that, you're not gonna have any problems. So, I'll show you right now what that is. So, we're on an incline, 
Now you can definitely do this, even if say you're on flat ground, if you get someone to push you, you can get it to work. So for instance, this is how you get it started. So with the car in the on position, with the car actually off, put it in second gear with your foot on the clutch, and once you start rolling and you get some speed, what you're gonna do is you're gonna let go of the clutch and it's gonna turn the car on. And now it's good. So I'll show the method one more time, okay? So I have the car off, and now I'm turning the key to key on, engine off, okay? So the fuel pump is going, everything's good to go. You have the car from neutral, you're gonna put it into second gear, like that. You're gonna let go of the brake. Right now I've got my foot on the brake and clutch. I'm gonna let go of the brake until I start gliding. See that, see how I'm, getting, see how I'm gaining speed? And then you just let go of the clutch whenever you think you're going fast enough. And the car is good. And like this, you can just drive like nothing's happened. Now we're gonna get into option number four. Now this is gonna be the easiest and, well just the straight up, the easiest way to get the car jump started. So say you're not on a hill, you don't have guys that are able to push the car, you don't have jumper cables and you're not connected or close to a wall with a charger. What do you do? Well, that's where this little doohickey comes in handy. This is a lithium ion rechargeable battery with a light on it. Oh, I gotta turn it on. With a light on it, with multiple different modes, with a whole bunch of safety settings on it, and this is gonna be able to jumpstart any car, pretty much anything. So, I mean, this thing is rated for anything gasoline with an eight liter motor or a diesel motor up to a six liter. So this is gonna be able to start up my Honda, it'll be able to start up my brother's Mini Cooper, and even my dad's work truck. This thing is small, and it works very well, and I'm gonna show you how to use one of these. So let's say that my car isn't starting. The battery's dead and it needs to be recharged. With this little battery booster pack right here, I'll be able to jumpstart my car without an issue. So, I'll first start off by getting the leads off of the sides, and I'm gonna set these up. Now, if you guys have ever jump started a car and you've put the leads on backwards, you might have scared yourself because you might get a big spark, you might damage something, or something might go wrong. Now, the beauty is that with this kit, even if you do that, you won't damage anything. So, I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, so I just press the power button. Normally, when you jump start a car, you wanna go positive to positive and negative to negative. See how this little light right here, see how it's cycling through that? That means that this is gonna be good to go. It's going through here and it's letting you know, hey, the car's ready, you can get your key in, turn the car, and it'll start. Now, what if you put it in backwards? What would happen? Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna disconnect uh, the negative first, and then I'm gonna disconnect the positive. Now, say if I were to plug this up the other way, okay? So I'll put the positive on like that and the negative like this. See that little light that comes on? That's a warning light. So even before you turn it on, before anything happens, before you damage anything, it's gonna let you know, hey, slow down, pay attention to what's going on because you did something wrong, okay? So with it like this, even if you tried to turn the car on, you wouldn't be breaking anything. So, once you take it off, and you'll be able to do this. Get that, see no warning light? You press the power button, and then it cycles through. Once it does that, you're good to turn the car on without a problem. And once you have it started, you'll be able to disconnect the negative and the positive, turn this off, and then once you put these leads back on, like that, you'll be able to store this, put this back into your car, and you're gonna be able to be good and jumpstart any other car down the road should the battery die on you. Now say you were to go ahead and buy one of these things. The battery charger right here is gonna come with a carrying bag to put everything in. You're gonna have the charger obviously and you're gonna have a couple adapters right here that you're gonna be able to hook up any kind of attachment you want to this thing. So if you want to charge your iPhone you can charge it from here. If you want to charge the actual device while you're driving you can do that with this kit. If you have any other kit that uses a 12 volt charger like one of these, you can hook it up in here so you can plug it in with this adapter and you can get it to charge. So say your tire's flat, you can bust this kit out, grab your tire inflator that works up with a 12 volt battery 
and you're gonna be able to charge it up without an issue. You don't have to worry about the car being on or whatever. One of these kits is super handy and it's really nice because it's so small and you don't have to worry about it. You can just throw it in your car and you don't have to worry about a dead battery ever happening again. Because if you guys remember, last time when I went to the track, one of my friends, Kyle, he left his lights on when he was uh, at the track but didn't have his car on and he needed a jump. If no one had jumper cables, he would have been screwed. But if he had one of these, you wouldn't need not only someone else to take care of you, but you don't also need another car. All you need is this little pack and your car is going to be good to go. Now you guys can go ahead and pick up one of these chargers. You can pick it up from the NOCO website. This is a NOCO GB70. Now this is one of their higher end models, but you can even get a cheaper version. You know, throw it in the car and not have to worry about it. You can pick them up on their website, you can pick them up on Amazon, or you know, anywhere else that really sells them. These things are super handy. And I mean, it's nice because you can charge stuff with this kit, or you can have the kit charged with either a wall charger that comes with it, um, or you can plug it in the car. Like it's super simple. If you keep this in your car, you're not gonna have to worry about getting a dead battery. Now something to note is that if you guys wanna jumpstart your vehicle, the three ways that you can do that without a problem, automatic or manual, is the first two and then this. So with a wall charger, jumper cables, or this kit, you can start any car. However, the bump start method, make sure that you're only doing that with a manual vehicle. You can't do that with an automatic because you might damage the transmission. So, I mean, if you guys have an automatic, that's not an option that you can do. Now, unfortunately, there's no other bump start method for automatics that I know of, but I mean, there's still three other options to get you by. If you guys have any questions regarding this video, throw them down in the comment section down below, and I'd be happy to help. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. These people took their dogs for like six walks today. Six! They went up and down. Yeah, I know. You'll find out about the dogs. <laughs> You'll find out about the dogs. Six walks up and down the street. Rico, Why? when you're old, you can do that. You can take your Why? dog for 30 walks no a day. At least they walk. My grandparents no, walk. At least they walk. But it's them so walking so means hot. I gotta get out of the truck and stop doing the paperwork that I'm working on and stop doing the yellow pages stuff and I gotta get out and talk to them about the status of the shingles and why we've added an extra four bundles on this side and how we're gonna do from the rest of the day and how, oh, now it's hot. Yeah, the guys aren't feeling well because it's 40 degrees outside. See what happens when you're retired? Don't become old. It's stressful <laughs> and you get too much time. Rico, don't you wish you're old? You could be a teacher and wouldn't have to deal with this. Yeah. No, then I just have little kids that ask all those questions. <laughs> <sighs> Mr. Mastrassi, why'd you do this? Why? Why? But I don't get it. Why? I don't think it doesn't make sense. It didn't work when I did it this way. Why? <laughs> Rant over. <laughs> 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 Young kids, see this is what happens with people. We start off as babies, we start off in diapers. Then we start complaining. And then we go to work, and then we get old, back in diapers, and keep complaining. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> I'm in that in between. I'm working and complaining. <laughs>